Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Mike and I'm going to re-record this intro because I've just done this one. It's windy, it's horrible, you're probably not going to hear me. We're in the car, <laughs> you're asking me how this is aviation related. Uh, it is, I promise you. Uh, so we're in the car, I've got Rich with me from turning back the clock. How you doing guys? And uh, we're on a bit of an adventure. So this channel used to have adventures on it as well. So I thought, how can we get an aviation related adventure? Uh, and we have come deep into Wales to a place called Mac Loop. If you haven't heard of it, it's a place where jets come over, fly low, and it's really cool. And hopefully we'll get some good footage. Uh, I'm not a photographer, so I'm not gonna get some really ace pics. There are loads of people out there that do that. We're just gonna film the experience and see, you can see for yourself what it's like and if it's worth coming here. Now we've picked the worst possible day so we're gonna try and get up there right to the top i'm gonna wipe the lens wipe the car there you go <laughs> we've got like there's a ridge there see it there that's where we've got to get but look at the weather man <laughs> right we're gonna go onto that ridge i think we're just gonna send it let's go hey guys future warm editor mike here Right, I just wanted to say, the reason why we got here at night was we wanted to beat the traffic in the morning. We wanted to make sure uh, that we had a good spot on the mountain. So we decided we was gonna try and camp at the top of the mountain for the night. So we're ready, fresh in the morning. But that's the situation. Guys, also, before we get on with the video, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. I think only about 10% of you are subscribed to the channel currently. So if you could go ahead, click that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and click the notification button. Anyway, guys, back on with this video. Richard has spiced me out already. <laughs> Listen to that wind. I don't know if you can hear me. Whoa, but the weather is appalling. I don't know if you can see it, but the car is all the way down there. Oh man, this is a bit of adventure. We're pretty much at the top of Cad East. One of the best viewing locations, apparently, going off the guide. Uh, it's quite windy. We're losing light, so we've just wrecked it. And uh, we're gonna have to go back down to the car to get kit. So I don't know if we've got enough time to get back up with all the kit. So, we're just going to see, play it by ear, see what happens. A few moments later. Cheers. <laughs> As you can probably guess, we didn't make it. Uh, but we've got a nice fire here. And uh, we've got a hotel for the night. This is how camping turns out at 40. Look at this. <laughs> It's a good tent though, isn't it? It's all right. Yeah. But, but, and electricity, shower facilities, and a TV. Guys, this is the best tent I've ever had. I've just cooked myself a steak. This has turned into an epic disaster. <laughs> like, it was so bad. The wind was so bad. The rain was so bad. It was, you were completely exposed at the top of the mountain. We went up there, wrecked it. And, uh, yeah, we just couldn't stay there. It was... Uh, it would have been dangerous. Uh, I did opt. I was 50-50. And we, we just decided, didn't we, that we weren't going to do it. So tomorrow, we're going to go back up there. We're going to leave the hotel about 6 o'clock in the morning. At 6 and 7, depending on what time I wake up. Get a parking space. Go back up there. And then I can let you know. So my feedback so far of Mac Loop weather. You're in Wales. So expect, just expect bad weather. I should have known better earlier been to Wales millions of times on training exercises and it's always like this so bad weather expect it and uh yeah we'll just see how it goes tomorrow but if you do come here and you do get weathered off like we did it's easy to find a hotel especially if you come in in the week the planes don't fly I don't believe on the weekends so uh you should get a hotel pretty easily so that's it my experience I'm gonna go to sleep it's about 11 o'clock and uh I'll see you in the morning when we're climbing back up that mountain. Good night. Good morning to you all. And uh, we had a pretty good night's sleep in the hotel. But the weather
weather's a lot better. There's a good chance that we're going to see something today, I think. Uh, I say I think. And we're going to go back up that mountain. So uh, let's do the hike again. So we made it up to the top of the mountain this time and the views were absolutely stunning. Just look at it there. Uh, I know it's still a bit cloudy. It was really cold and windy. So I'm going to do a voiceover on this. We met some really cool people though. So Anthony and his father, John, down there. And John has just discovered something. So we're going to go over and have a look at it. Uh, these were really, really strange. So they were rocks that was on the mountain, but they were hollow inside. Uh, this particular one was locked, uh, but it was definitely made out of fiberglass. And it got me stumped. I wondered what is in there. So I went over to John to see what he'd discovered. And John has discovered this one here with an actual opening on it. So we opened it up and inside is a radar dish. Uh, so I'm guessing there's something to do with the aircrafts that are flying through. And what we did notice is when we did eventually get some planes come through, this generator here that you see started to hum. Then I got a quick call from Richard to say we've got some action on flight radar and uh, we have some Texans heading through very shortly. Guys, I would definitely recommend if you did come up here, download flight radar because you can see the uh, the aircraft's coming onto the range and onto the valley. So it's definitely worth getting. It's free, it's a, it's a free app to have as well. So definitely worth downloading. There you go, it's a taxi. Oh, it's Where is he? Yeah, I can't see, oh yeah, I see. Yeah, that's cool, that is, isn't it? Okay, guys, so I'm back home, I'm safe, I'm sound, I'm dry and I'm warm. So all the things that I didn't feel while I was on top of CAD East. So my experiences are just based on this trip, this trip alone, some of the research that I've done and uh, the location, which was CAD East. So you've got CAD East, CAD West, there's a few other positions as well, but we wanted to go to the highest position which is Cad East, and uh, you get to see down on the aircraft as they're flying through. So we had a really wet and windy experience. The month is April, so we're just in spring, uh, and I would definitely recommend doing it a bit further on down the year. So we're going to go back, and we're going to do a few more days there, and hopefully we'll get some shots of some jets. We only got the Texans, but the Texans are really cool. I'm a, I love the Texans. I'd love to fly in one one day. Uh, but they were they're cool seeing them go past. Really happy with that. I think we saw about four or five while we were there. The experience was really good. I enjoyed it. The people are friendly there. And we were going to camp on the top of the mountain. Now, I don't recommend that you do that. That was just something we chose to do. Uh, uh, just if you do do stuff like that, just be really respectful. Don't leave any junk, leave everything how you see it and how you find it. And uh, just be respectful. That's all I say. It took us from the car park to get to the top. 
It took us about an hour hike. Now, like I say, conditions were wet. Uh, if it was a dry hike with ideal conditions, it would have been a bit quicker, uh, but it's still a really good intermediate hike to get at the top. However, once we got to the top, we found, or we was told, uh, of another road that's behind, and you can park in it. There's only a little lay-by enough for two or three cars. You can park in there and walk straight up, and you can get up in about 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, but I think in the summer, there is no chance of us getting in that lay-by. I, I assume it's going to be full. Uh, so expect a bit of a hike. But all in all, enjoyable experience. We got rained off. We found a hotel. It was easy to find a hotel. One of the places we checked had no one in any of the rooms. Uh, so it was really easy to get in. Uh, and I'd recommend it. If you're an aviation lover or you just like hiking or want to do something different, this was a really good experience. So guys, I'm sorry I didn't get many planes on there, but I promise you I will be going back. I'll be going back with some different cameras as well so we can get some better footage. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember, please like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It means a lot and it just means my video gets seen by more people and we can go out and do bigger and better things. Click that notifications and you'll get all my latest uploads and uh, put some comments in down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your experiences. And if you would like to go to Matt Loop, put it down below. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, take care.